Do you love to travel? Or better yet, could you imagine doing a field experience or an international internship in a brand new country? Well, if that rings a bell, this week on EduLife, we're talking to Tracy Anuchko and Dr. George Richardson on international internships and field experiences. Hey everyone, this is Serena. Welcome to EduLife. Are you an education student and thinking of traveling abroad? Well, today we have the lovely Tracy Anuchko. She is a current graduate education student and she's actually traveled all the way to Tanzania for an international internship. So we're very lucky to have her today. So Tracy, welcome to EduLife. Thank you very much for having me. So today we are talking about the value of international internships in education. So I heard that you've gone all the way to Tanzania. Could you tell us a little bit about that experience? Sure, my experience was through a program called Students for Development and what it was was a research internship at a partner university, which is the Aga Khan University Institute for Educational Development East Africa. And I was primarily involved um, in a project called Mapping the Early Childhood Landscape in Tanzania, where we basically went through and tried to figure out provisions in early childhood care throughout the country. That's amazing. Wow, so inspiring. So bridging off that, in your opinion, how has that experience made you who you are today as an education student? I think the value of those experiences has helped me to understand how research has happened within an international context and specifically how education occurs in different areas of the world in a place where, for example, the government doesn't fund education 100% like it does here. And so all of those things have been very valuable for me. Wow, and in your opinion, how do you think international experiences and internships could benefit current U of A students right now in education? I think it broadens um, international st or students here, their experiences. It gives them a perspective that they won't have just by simply doing um, field experiences, for example, in Canada. And it gives them more um, knowledge and understanding of the students that are coming into their classrooms. And is there a specific amazing experience that you'd like to recall, maybe from Macau? I've heard you also gone to Macau as well. I did go to Macau and was there uh, doing a research project as well. And so I think one of the most interesting things is seeing that students all across the world uh, do behave just like students. And so uh, the way that they go about different things may be different, but that um, their experiences are very similar. And so it's a, a great thing to be able to see. It's amazing. Well, thank you so much, Tracy, for being here. Thank you. Hey everyone, welcome back. So bridging off Tracy's wonderful account of Tanzania, now we have the lovely Dr. George Richardson, who is the Associate Dean International for Faculty of Education. So Dr. Richardson, thank you so much for joining me. Thank you, thank you very much. And right now, what are some current awesome opportunities for international abroad for current undergraduate education students? Thanks, Rena. Um, there are quite a few opportunities for students. Uh, we have AFX, uh, t uh, students can do their AFX in Macau. Uh, there are internship possibilities in Beijing and in, in a number of other places in China right now. Uh, we have exchange possibilities with Norway. Um, and we have a program now that just developed in Thailand. So students who have just completed their bachelor's, bachelor's degree can do a diploma in Thailand uh, by spending 10 months there. And at the same time, they get uh, paid to, uh, to be in, in uh, teaching in a school in, in Thailand. So they get uh, accommodation, airfare, and a salary for being in, in Thailand. So there's a number of opportunities uh, that are available to undergrads currently. <laughs> should we apply to international internships? Why are they so great? Why should we do it? That's a good question because you know it does involve uh, students going outside of their comfort zone sometimes. But what we find from the students who've gone on these international exchanges or international teaching experiences is they come back with a greater sense of uh, their own ability to teach in really diverse environments. So they get to experience the world and not just the educational world that they're working in, but also the world around them where, where they happen to be staying. It makes them much stronger teachers, much more confident, and much more able to, to deliver education in, in their own classrooms in Alberta, which are becoming increasingly diverse anyway. And lastly, where are we sitting right now? Where are we? <laughs> the International Office is in 5182 Education North, and so we'd be pleased to have students come in and, and ask us questions about the various programs we do have. And what are your hours for the International Office? 
The hours are regular office hours, so 8.30 to 4 on a daily basis, Friday by appointment. Perfect. Thank you so much, Dr. Richardson. Thanks, Serena.